Today we will discuss voltage to current converter. How we can convert voltage to current? It is of two type: floating load and grounded load. If the load is not uh, grounded, then it is called floating. Okay. And our first part will be floating load. Voltage to current converter. Okay. This is an operational amplifier. Input signal is applied to the non-inverting terminal that op will act as non-inverting amplifier. This is the inverting terminal and load is connected like ZL here and this is an output this is a resistor then grounded R1 the load will will act as feedback resistor also feedback component also At the node A and B, the voltage will be same. This is the characteristics of the op amplifier. That whatever the voltage at A, the same will be at B. Because the voltage at A is VI, therefore voltage at B will also be VI then the, here the current flowing is IL through load the whole of the current will pass through R1 because op never draw any current input of the input current of the op is always zero that IP minus is zero Therefore, the load current will pass through R1. Load current is IL. It is passing through ZL as well as R1. Okay, through R1 the current is IL. Now let us write the voltage potential difference across R1 and writing the current also current IL equals to voltage difference VL minus 0 upon R1 this is R1 or so IL is proportional to VI I L proportional to V I because the R1 is constant. Okay. So this this the how we convert voltage to current because we have we applied voltage at the non-inverting terminal equal to V I and its proportion is proportional current. We are getting proportional current that is I L. Okay. Now let's discuss the circuit of grounded load. Again we are using the op. The minus plus terminal. This is non-inverting. This register is R and input signal is applied here. And here is the load ZL and connected to second point is connected to the ground. This is again R and here is the output 
so a connection is there or with V0. So here the voltage V1 is VI, this is V1, current flowing here is I1. What is I1? The potential difference across R, which is VI minus V1 upon R. This is VI, this is V1. Okay, here the current flowing is I2. I2 is again the potential difference V0 minus V1 divided by R. So this is second current. Now there will be current through load, it is IL. So what is the reason of IL? The reason is I1 and I2. Now here a feedback register is connected and second it is second it is grounded. Second R is grounded. Now here the current is IL. IL is the sum of I1 and I2. IL is the sum of I1 and I2. Substituting the value of I1 and I2. Substituting for I1 and I2. Simplification. We are using this op as the you know, non-inverting amplifier and you know where well, the gain of non-inverting. The gain of non-inverting is 1 plus Rf upon R1. Here Rf is R and R1 is R. So gain becomes 1 plus 1, 2. And you know what is gain? V not over V1, not V are here. The gain is V0 over V1, remember. Remember it is V0 over V1, not VI. So substituting here, substituting here, the equation modifies to. And uh, just simplification will get VI is equals to IL into R. IL VI upon R. Again current and uh, current is proportional to the voltage. You know voltage is applied at the non-inverting terminal which is VI and we are getting the current through the load which is IL. The current which we are getting it is proportional to the voltage which is applied. Okay. So this is the part Second part, that the grounded load. Okay.